Our top story tonight at 6, the upcoming school year about a month or so away now. So how are schools going to reopen this fall? Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being here. I'm Veronica Macias. And I'm Aaron Groff. Central Coast education leaders are still working on their plans and bringing parents into the process. KIOWN's Alicia Machado spoke with the districts across the county to find out what this new school year will look like. That's right, Aaron Veronica. After speaking with educational leaders locally, one thing is clear that the school year will not be back to normal when students return in the fall. It will likely end up being a combination of distance learning and limited in-person classes, but parents will have the ultimate say. I'm really considering keeping my little five-year-old out. Concern from Monterey County parents over what school will look like in the fall. Some parents want kids back because they're falling behind and others have concerns over students getting exposed to the virus. The Salinas City Elementary School District is letting parents decide between two options, 100% distance learning or a hybrid model, which would be two consecutive days inside the classroom and three days of distance learning. When students come to school, the superintendent says there will be temperature checks, physical distancing and free frequent sanitation, but a mask requirement is still being discussed. In looking at our uh, Monterey County health guidelines, the guidelines don't state that um, anyone below 12 years old have to wear masks. So the piece that we are uh, being much more mindful of is ensuring that we have the distance. If adequate social distancing can't be maintained, then they may require masks, something that comes as a concern to parents of younger children. I don't know if they will have face coverings all day because they won't be able to handle wearing it all day. Concerns Soledad parents and guardians echoed. Outside of high school, I cannot see that these kids are going to be able to maintain um, a six foot distance and how that health protocol is going to be able to maintain. The Soledad Unified School District tells me hybrid learning or distance learning are the most feasible options there, but they have plans to have an option for in-person classes on a survey they'll send to parents. They won't transition to full-time in-person classes until it's deemed safe. As for the mask requirement, Monterey County has it for children older than 12 because they know that it's difficult for children to wear a mask, many children, but they do strongly encourage face coverings in school because of how close people are together. Now for the district in Salinas, they're still weighing their options. In Salinas, Alicia Machado, KIOA News Channel 546.